Hey guys, so just last night my dad dropped off my, uh, my new Steven Brenner figure, um, from Kingdom Hearts 3. So, yeah, I'm, I finally have her, which means that now that I have Steven, I now have the entire, uh, uh, she saw Ice Cream Trio in, uh, Brenner's figure form, which is really awesome. Um, one of my last videos was my review of the Roxy Brenner's figure, and I was really happy to have him. And now that I have him and she owns that complete that trio, and I'm hoping to... I'm, uh, hoping to get the, um, uh, Wayfinder trio soon, because, um, uh, Ben and Aqua are, are out right now, I'm pretty sure they are anyway, but, yeah, I know that I'm hoping to get them really soon, but before we get in, but, leaving that behind, let's get into what we are here for, yeah, let's get into Sion, and, here he is! Yeah, I finally managed to get the seal and bring our video with him really cool. You can just see her here that they did a really great job on her just with the, like I'm always getting with the, uh, coat that she's wearing and her shoes, and her shoes as well. And as well as just the face and the hair and all that, which is done really well. And she actually came with some other faces as well. Like the Brenner figures always have, like, two other heads with them. And for she own, she actually came with a, uh, sorry if the light is kind of shining here, but she has a happy face there and a hooded face, like her face is covered by her hood, which is really awesome. And, um, oh yeah, and they are something I've never shown before, but on the back of the Brenner figure boxes, they always have the figure looking like they're in different locations in Kingdom Hearts, which is just really cool. It's nice to see the locations on the pit, on the box, on the back of the box, they just like backdrops and all day, but it's really cool. So for Sion, she's like, and she's like in Twilight, she's in Twilight Town here, or in Castle Oblivion here, or the Keyblade Graveyard down there, which is really awesome. And, um, <clears throat> Uh, she, um, all the others, you have boxes like that as well, and just really have, like, pictures, like, on their, like, backdrops, on their boxes as well, which is really, always really awesome to see, but, so yeah, and with she owns, she has the kingdom key, like, always, and, yeah, it's kind of weird seeing her with the kingdom key, and not Sora, because the Sora Brenner figures from Kingdom Hearts 3 don't have the Kingdom key, because, um, uh, the one I have, she has the Susan Star Keyblade, and in terms, and the next Brenner figure of him is gonna have the Starlight Keyblade, um, from Kingdom Hearts Keyblade. I don't really have a problem with that, but personally, I think it just would have been cool if he had the, uh, Kingdom Key as well. And, but yeah, uh, so, yeah, not, so yeah, like I just said, she does look really awesome, and it's cool to see her holding the key, her own Keyblade and all that. And I say it's cool to see her holding it because, uh, some of my own, uh, Brenner figures can't hold their weapon. I don't know why, but I think for some of the figures I have, there might have been a bit of a default with some of them. The biggest one for me is the Sora one that I have. I can't get him to hold his weapon like that. I don't know why, but I think there might have been a default with him, like, with that version of him. And, 
The same goes for some other figures. I have as well, like, um, like, uh, the Halloween Town Sora and the Christmas Town Sora. I can't get them to hold their decisive pumpkin keyblade. So, they are kind of annoying, especially with the Christmas Town Sora, because I can't get him to hold either of his keyblades. Because for the, um, for the Halloween Town Sora, I was able to, I'm able to make him hold his kingdom key, just not his, um, decisive pumpkin key. And for the Christmas Town Sora, I can't get him to hold any, hold either of his keys. But, but thankfully, oh, a couple of months ago, I was able to get a few more of my figures to hold their weapons, which was really cool, but for some of them, I haven't been able to get them to grab their weapons at all, but I'm re <clears throat> but that's one of the reasons why I'm hoping to get that second version of Sora as well that will be coming out really soon because he actually, hopefully, I will, I will be able to get him to hold his weapon, and and yeah, and yeah, overall, it, it is still just really awesome to have Seal in it. Wow, and I've actually managed to put all of my, uh, Kingdom Hearts free for an art figure onto one shelf in my shelf in my uh take downstairs and so I'm really excited to see what the uh Wayfinder trio will look like when they're when they're in the in there as well. So so yeah, I'm really excited about for all that and I'm still really happy with what they do with C O and as well. And I'm really hoping I'll be able to make her hold her um the ice cream as well because now that I have seen uh Rocket and Lee because Lee came with um free sea salt ice cream so I'm hoping I'll be able to make uh the three of them all hold their ice cream because yeah it does look really cool like that. And also I noticed something with this as well. You might be able to notice with Shion shoes. They're actually like really small and really thin. I actually didn't notice I noticed that before but what I didn't notice before until just a while ago was that so like she her shoes are pretty small and thin and all that but then rock this is shoes are like kind of bulky on the front like his and a bit like Sora in that way but also um these shoes are kind of normal looking as well so rock this is the only one with kind of bulkier shoes on the front as well but and hey I guess that might have been to maybe mirror Sora a little bit and they're like yeah we all know that Sora but, yeah, you can even see here just how much Sora was to wear really bulky shoes like that. But, yeah, and so, yeah, I went back to my, uh, box, my emotion of, uh, Chio, and I'm, I'm still really happy to have her, and I'm not really sure when I'll be getting another figure as well. I am hoping to get a S hate figure of Donald really soon because I already have one of Goofy and I've been struggling to find one of Donald because he was either very expensive or just hard to find. So, but I'm hoping I'll, but I found one and hopefully I'll be able to buy him really soon. And when I do, I'll do another review of him as well. And so, and so, yeah, we went back to my review of the Seal and Grinnard figure. Thank you all so much for watching. I, <clears throat> I like what I did. And if you did like this video, please like this video. Please comment down below to tell me what you think. Please follow me on Twitter at Daniel Maloney, Hey Hayes, and Disney Fan Ride of Kingdom Hearts and Disney Quiz every day. And please subscribe for more content like this coming soon. I'll see you on next time. Take care.